So the summer's winding down. We're getting back into those fall routines. And if there have been doctor's visits you're putting off, now's the time to schedule them. In today's checklist, NBC News medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar is here to tell us everything we need to know everything. to stay everything. <laughs> of all of health. Doc, good to all see you. Day. You too. All right, so before the end of the year, if we haven't done it already, what are the appointments we need to get on the calendar? Number one on the list, you guys, every year is your annual visit with your doctor, Ooh. right? And why do we do this? Well, they examine you. They will check your blood work to see your cholesterol and your sugar, screening for depression, things like that. And for no other reason to see a doctor every year is that you establish a relationship. So if you have an emergency yeah. sometime during yeah. the year, you're not wondering who to call. <clears throat> yeah. um, vaccines. We talk a lot about vaccines for children and they have a very set schedule. And I think we grow up and we think we don't need vaccines mm -hmm. anymore. Right. Not Al, but a lot of people think we don't oh, need vaccines true. anymore, but we do. Shingle shots and pneumonia shots, maybe RSV. So the fall is a good time to think about that because we usually get the flu shot then. Dental exams twice a year and eye exams, especially by the time you get to the age of 40. Hmm. Chanel, you I'm have... I'm gonna go. Yes. I mean, obviously, if you have... Even you just know, for your health. No, I'm going. Health, going. Right? Like, uh, if you have any risk factors like diabetes or hypertension or certainly any symptoms or family histories of this kind of stuff, ask your doctor about how, when you should start going and how frequently you should go. Okay. All right. Let's talk about cancer screening. It's yes. always important. Breakdown. Yes. Um, who should be getting what? What and, and, and when? Yes. Okay. So probably the biggest challenge is to how to communicate to people about when to start getting cancer screenings and how frequently to do it and when to stop. And I am not going to be able to cover that, obviously, all in one thing. But this sure. is from the American Cancer Society, and I think it's a good snapshot. Ages 25 to 39, if you have a cervix, you're doing cervical cancer screening. That can be a combination of HPV, pap smears, etc. Speak to your gynecologist about how frequently to do. Ages 40 to 49, we've got cervical, breast, colorectal, and prostate. And I really want to just highlight colorectal. Yes, we are still recommending age 45. A couple weeks ago, the American College of Physicians yep. said 50. We're sticking to 45. And prostate cancer at age 45, if you're African American or you have a first degree family relative, you're starting at 45. Mm -hmm. 50 plus, cervical, breast, colorectal, prostate, and lung cancer. If you're 50 to 80 and you quit smoking within the last 15 years or a current smoker, talk to your doctor about lung cancer screening. Hmm, it's good. It's important. It's important. All right, let's talk about making important appointments. Sometimes yes. you call and you think you're going to get in in the next couple of weeks and they're like, we have one five months from now. Yes. Yeah. Is there any way to streamline that process? Well, so first of all, so some tips to make appointments. Number one, you want to arrive early. There's always a chance, a small chance, yeah. that your doctor's also running early, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So if you're early and your doctor's early, we will love you forever. Get that yeah. out of the Plus way. Plus you got to fill out forms yet, and everything. When you're absolutely, yeah. right. Like the running late thing doesn't work. You got 20 minutes for a follow-up visit. It doesn't work. Expect a wait when you call, right? Yeah. So if you know you need to see someone, this is what I would tell you. You need to get into a specialist. Start making some phone calls, right? Mm -hmm. You've got a friend. You've got this. You know me. We know that, right? Yeah, we try to we, we try to help out our patients a lot, and we will try to get them in sooner. Write down your top concerns. Do not wait until the very end of the encounter to say, by the way, I lost 20 pounds and I don't know why, mm. or I'm having chest pain. Mm. You need to point. talk about that early. Always save questions till the end. That's good to know. Yeah. Always write down your top two to three things. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get them. Don't save them to the end. And bring your old records. You want to maximize the time you're with the doctor. Don't say, oh, I had labs done two weeks they ago. They physically take the actual... If you That or show them a picture or mm -hmm. upload okay. them before you get there. It really will make your visit more mm -hmm. um, efficient. Let's say you have some concerns and you're like, oh, I'll just wait till my next doctor's appointment. Yes. When do you know you can do that or if you need to be seen right away? So you know, one of the biggest questions I think that people have, and sometimes I do myself, is this something that I can go to urgent care yeah. for? Or, or is this an emergency room situation? You want to think about emergency room for things that are life or limb threatening. So you think chest pain, head injuries, a compound fracture, i.e. bone sticking out, shortness of Oof. breath, or uncontrolled bleeding. For urgent care, think of it as kind of like the middle point between your primary care doctor and the emergency room. <gasps> urgent care is great for things like earaches and sprains, yeah. etc. Usually, if your doctor can't get you in that day, mm -hmm. right? But urgent care can. For kids, too? For kids, too, right? But, you know, they're they have limited, you know, resources. Mm -hmm. The ER, if you need a specialist in cardio or neurology and more advanced imaging, you know, you're going to the emergency there. room. Okay. Yeah. That was Very great. Helpful. Oh, that was great. Yeah, thank, thank you, you. Yeah. Always a lot of good to have you here. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.